Like and subscribe, or this gigantic dog will hunt you when you go outside. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today we'll look at how years of breeding ruined popular dog breeds. Stay until number one. You'll see how a cute breed has turned into a sickly line of dogs. Number 10. Bull Terrier People have long been obsessed with the perfect dog. From the perfect size, to the perfect coat, to the perfect temperament. They're popularly called man's best friend. But man has changed certain dogs almost beyond recognition. It's not just the physical traits that have changed for these dogs. Their behavior and mental traits have also been affected. Some of them have been mutating, developing new diseases and conditions, and showing behavioral problems. Here is how years of breeding have ruined these popular dog breeds. We start with the Bull Terrier. The first Bull Terrier, which was born in the early 1800s, was actually a cross between the old breed of the English Terrier and the Bulldog. Back then, the Bull Terrier had a slim, curved body, and it had a distinctive and chiseled nose. But during this time, dogfighting was a big thing across Europe. People were obsessed with breeding the perfect fighter. The Bull Terrier got caught in this mania. Through the years, it developed into Voldemort. Nah, wait, not quite. But it did get a warped skull with no distinctive nose. It transformed into a stocky fighting dog with a thick abdomen, and it developed a compulsive habit of chasing its tail. Number 9. English Bulldog Did you know that there used to be a sport called bull baiting? It was kind of like the animal equivalent of gladiators. It was very popular in Europe, particularly in England and Ireland. It was a bloody sport that pitted bulls against different animals like bears and dogs. This is where the bulldog got its name. The bulldog of long ago was already athletic, but it had a smaller head and less skin hanging in folds over its body. But any dog used in bull baiting eventually developed stocky bodies and big heads and jaws through breeding. This was essential so that the dog could fight the infinitely bigger bull. But today's bulldog has changed too much from its ancestors. With so many physical changes, they can no longer fight like the bulldogs of old. Their short snouts led to so many health problems that they can hardly move. And a lot of them die from cancer or cardiac arrest. Number 8. Boxer According to historical records, boxers are descendants of the extinct Bullenbeiser, also known as German Bulldog. This German breed was supposed to be a cross between a Mastiff, a Bulldog, a Great Dane, and a Terrier. Like its ancestor, the Boxer was also bred in Germany. It's the product of crossing the Bullenbeiser with an old English Bulldog, since it was bred for bull baiting. The first official Boxer was called Flocky, even though her father was from a local German breed already called Boxer. When bull baiting was no longer popular, the Boxer became a working dog, controlling cattle bound for the slaughterhouses. Like other bull bait dogs, through the years it developed a large head, flattened snout, and a large jaw that points slightly upwards. These features have given it a lot of health problems. It's prone to cancer, heart disease, hypothyroidism, hip dysplasia, epilepsy, bloat, intestinal issues, allergies, and eye problems. Puppies have a 22% mortality rate. Many die due to stillbirth or infection. This mortality rate increases significantly due to inbreeding. Number 7. Doxa Here's a hot dog, and here's a hot dog, and here's another hot dog. Well, almost. Did you know that there are pictures of dachshunds on ancient Egyptian walls and Chinese illustrations? And did you know that they used to have legs, had a neck that was proportionate to its size, and a body that's not that long? Hunters actually used dachshunds for hunting creatures that would go underground or hide in thick vegetation. But for some reason, humans thought these dogs would look better with stretched out necks and bodies and stumpy legs that are only a few inches off the ground. These changes have made it almost impossible for the dogs to move. They're not prone to getting spinal disc disease, which can lead to paralysis. Plus, they get a lot of bone-related disorders. Number 6. German Shepherd Some dogs look so much alike that people can hardly tell them apart. For example, here's a Belgian Shepherd Malinois, and here's a German Shepherd. They could be siblings, which is actually understandable because the original German Shepherd looked like this. It had a thinner abdomen with a sharper stance, just like the Malinois. But during the 1850s, humans began to attempt to standardize the breed to preserve the sheep herding traits that made it popular. These traits included intelligence, speed, a keen sense of smell, and body strength. But the attempts didn't quite achieve the goal. Yes, they're intelligent and fast and have a keen sense of smell, and that's why a lot of them become police dogs. 
but there is actually a controversy about breed standards for this dog. Some dog shows and organizations require German Shepherds that have abnormal roached backs to make them look like they're lame. This feature makes them prone to hip and elbow dysplasia and other skeletal problems. We're halfway through. Are you liking this video? Then please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our informative and exciting animal videos. Number 5. Pug This is a Chinese Hapa dog. It was a popular dog breed among royals in the imperial court of the Song dynasty. We're showing it to you because it's the ancestor of the modern pug. Portuguese explorers in the 15th and 16th centuries brought the Hapa to Europe, where it was crossbred with terriers and other smaller breeds, and produced the pug. Initially, the pug was also called Dutch Mastiff because it was bigger with longer legs, longer necks, lean bodies, and other Mastiff-like features. Like its ancestor, the pug quickly became popular with European royalty. Specifically, it alerted the Prince of Orange to assassins, so it became a favorite companion. When William III and Mary II became the monarchs of England, they brought a pug across the channel. This was crossed with small breeds of British dogs, producing the modern pug look. You know, a square, compact body with well-developed muscles, a deep chest, a curled tail, and a flat, wrinkly face. It's these features that make it suffer from high blood pressure, heart problems, breathing problems, and dermatitis. Oh, and the cute way its tails curl is actually a genetic defect that could lead to paralysis. Number 4. St. Bernard Tracing the history of dog breeds is hard work because of too much crossbreeding. Take for example the St. Bernard. Some believe that its origin can be traced back to the Roman Empire. You see, the Roman Empire was vast, like so huge it covered modern-day Europe and Asia. So it wasn't strange for Roman soldiers to bring back dogs to Rome, dogs from other countries. But there's not a lot of records on this. Written records about this breed date back only to the early 11th century. These records showed monks using St. Bernards as rescue dogs in the Alps. At one point, the St. Bernard almost died, so the monks crossed them with Great Danes and English Mastiffs. But the breeding program didn't stop there, so the St. Bernards of today have become too big. They have bigger skulls with squished faces and longer fur. Even though they're still considered working dogs, St. Bernards easily overheat because of their size and fur. They're also prone to other health issues like eye problems because of their droopy eyes and paralysis and bone cancer because of their large bodies. Number 3. Chow Chow Here's another Chinese breed that was popular during ancient times. There are even some stories that tell of a Chinese ruler who owned as many as 5,000 chows. Marco Polo even wrote about chow chows pulling sleds. But during this ancient time, chow chows had medium or short coats and a long and straight muzzle. Today, the chows are totally different. They have long, thick, and dense coats and a noticeably short muzzle. They also have deep set eyes. The changes have made them prone to skeletal problems, hip and elbow dysplasia, bloat, and eye disorders. One thing that hasn't changed though is their distinctive blue tongues. This one has managed to stay through the years. Number 2. Basset Hound One of the most famous logos in footwear from the 60s to the 90s is from the American brand Hush Puppies. It showcases a Basset Hound. Side trivia, actually the original Hush Puppies Basset Hound models were a pair of siblings named Velvet and Jasmine. Anyway, beyond this icon, the Basset Hound has a history that goes way back to 1585 in France. A book on hunting mentioned a Basset dog that was used for hunting foxes and badgers. The name comes from the French word Bass, which is translated to low in English. You see, only rich people could hunt on horseback during that time. Since the majority of hunters needed to hunt on foot, they needed short-legged, slow-moving dogs that could search for small game. So the Basset Hound became popular. It became so popular that even Emperor Napoleon III had Basset Hounds. But even though it already had short legs, the original Basset Hounds weren't as droopy as today's version. They also had shorter ears. Today's Basset Hounds have become too low for comfort. They also have too much excess skin and larger ears. So they suffer from eye problems because of their droopy eyes. They're also prone to vertebra problems, arthritis, and elbow dysplasia. But their number one health issue is because of their large ears. Since these floppy ears don't allow air circulation, their ears have to be cleaned or they'll get ear infections and parasites. Number 1. Yorkshire Terrier One of the most popular trends in dog breeding in recent years is teacup dogs. 
These are different from toy dogs. They're much, much smaller than toy dogs. So small they can fit in an ordinary teacup. Several breeds are used to create these micro dogs, and one of them is Yorkshire Terriers. Fondly called Yorkies, these dogs were originally bred as rat catchers in mills and mines in or near Yorkshire, England. But when show dogs began to be popular, Yorkies began to be bred smaller and smaller. Its small size already poses a lot of health risks for a normal Yorkie. Most notable is breathing problems because their tracheas are very, very fragile. Now, teacup Yorkies may have double the cuteness, but they also have double the health problems. They easily suffer from digestive troubles and low blood sugar, which can lead to seizures and death. They also get heart and liver problems and hydrocephalus. They're so fragile that they are easily injured. In other words, they're practically ill their whole lives. But because they're popular, we foresee questionable breeding of teacup Yorkies to continue for some time. Sad. There you have it our feature on how years of breeding ruined popular dog breeds. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check out our video on the top 10 dogs who fail at being dogs.